welcome back to List Night, our first episode in about two months. I think two months. Last time we did one of these was sometime in June, and it is currently August 24th. So we have been away for a while. We've taken a little bit of a summer vacation. Uh, my name is Griffin. As always, I'm joined by Andrew Simon and Thomas Albert, the uh, two two engines that drive this show, the two co-hosts with the mostest. I don't know what I'm going to call them, but they're the reason this exists. This is List Night. This week, let's just dive right into it. We're going to be talking about party moves. We didn't really know what this meant. This is something that I suggested in a text, I don't know, two or three months ago. I didn't really know what I meant by it at the time, so I imagine these lists are going to be pretty different. Andrew, Thomas, we've been away for a while. How are you guys doing? What have you been up to? Why haven't we recorded a list night? Are we lazy? Is that what it is? Are we, are we sharing things now? I thought we were just- Yeah, no, this. we're going to talk. We're going to talk about where we've been and what we've been doing and why we haven't been generating content weekly for the people. Um, I, I'm working. Um, this doesn't pay. You listeners don't, don't give us any money. Uh, yeah, Redbox sure. left us. Pizza Hut <laughs> hasn't called. Uh, you know, no one likes anything anymore. And then we're struggling is what's happening. Yeah. I had to pick up a side job, which is my actual job. Yeah. Pizza Hut, yeah. call, I call Pizza Hut a lot more than Pizza Hut calls me. The only time they ever call back is when I ask them to call back. Uh, <laughs> one day that yeah. sponsorship money is going to come in. I'll put in orders online and in the special notes, I'll be like, can you please sponsor our, my podcast with my two <laughs> friends? And they never, I mean, they put in like extra napkins, but that's about it. <laughs> Have they, have they ever written on the box? No. Because <laughs> yeah. that means that means there's no chance. Yeah. But yeah, that's no, true. No, Griffin, I feel I feel uh recharged. I'm not I'm not worried about the past. You could say we're lazy, you could say we work, you could say a number of things, but you know, I'm focused on the future and I'm focused on you know producing and 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 recording tens of more episodes for the fans. <laughs> I it's funny, I don't it's think... funny that you're go ahead, Thomas. I don't think we can say we're lazy because we're all standing right now because this was a stupid idea, but we're doing it. We're doing this the entire episode. One of us has a standing desk. One of us is just kind of shot from like an over or under under angle. And I don't really know what Thomas is doing. I don't, I don't know. Maybe he just has a really big computer. I'm not sure. Um, but you're going to see a lot of neck fat from, from Thomas and I this episode if you're watching on YouTube. Andrew looks great because... As mentioned, he has a standing desk and he can afford better things than us. How do you make your neck look skinny? Uh, genetics. Oh, I isn't it a thing for like that? Like celebrities and and like vain people, like I assume Griffin do for pictures, is like suck on your tongue or something to like to to. That's just gives you the one of to, these to tighten the jawline, you know. I mean, um, to, to I think tighten he's the doing... jawline. Let's see. I'm trying to do it right now. I don't know what that means. <laughs> suck on your tongue. Yeah, how do you suck on your tongue? Yeah, I don't know. I, that, that might even not even be the, the thing that you're supposed like to do. Fish. I don't know. I mean, this is not great audio for anybody right, who's listening five. on Spotify uh, or uh, Apple Podcasts, which now that I mention it, if you are listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts before we get into it, make sure you click the follow button. And if you have not done so already, rate and review us, preferably five stars, preferably a positive review. Um, I've said it a million times. If you are going to rate us and review us and you don't want to leave us a five-star rating or a positive review, don't fucking do it and stop listening to the pod now because you're a bitch. Uh, you can email I us, though. It. I, I, I think it's known from everyone that I'm all for leaning hard into just be living our audience. I'm, I'm, I've never been against calling people listening to this dumb, and I, I think yeah. we should lean into it, and I'm here for it. I don't know how we could call them smart because they're choosing to use valuable potential entertainment and free time hours to listen to us. And it's like, it, it, there's not a limited number of better options. There's a seemingly limitless number of better options. You know, do who something, doesn't else. Listen do to something us? else guys. Yeah. Yeah. You almost you know feel sorry for these people. Oh, absolutely. Who listens people to who us? don't listen to us. Everyone else, everyone else who does not listen yeah. to us is smart, smart. Yeah. Actually, on a really positive note, and I do want to say this before we jump into the episode, uh, I want to shout out one of our former high school teachers and my former wrestling coach. I'm not going to say his name on the podcast. I don't want anybody to like look him up on Facebook or anything like that. But uh, a guy who apparently listens to the pod and he, he reached out to me and he was like, when's the next episode coming? 
And that was earlier this week. We hadn't recorded an episode in almost two months. And now here we are doing it this week. So clearly it spurred us to record a new episode. I appreciate the fact that people that we don't talk to super often are listening to the pod, particularly someone that has all the reason in the world to not like me that much. Because when I was in high school, I had my dumbass fight club and I caused a lot of trouble for him. He has every reason to not like me, but he listens to the pod and I appreciate it. Yeah, Griffin, him him making that comment reminded us of two things. We need to record more often and we also need to cut weight. <laughs> we do need to do that, which is which is why we're doing the stand. <laughs> Daddy we're trying issues. to get fit. <clears throat> I, we're not we're not talking about that this time this is not a daddy issues pod uh, no thanks for the shout out but we're not saying his name yeah i don't I, you know i don't want to i don't want to blow That's up anybody's fair. spot but but regardless i appreciate i, I appreciate quick question listening. are you guys uh ready to party oh i'm ready to party are you ready to party thomas i can party that's I, fantastic I party. because you're I, going I first this week you you do Andrew, party. Do you i thought party? say we all party yeah you're going mm. first i'm griffin's going the party guy I know for a fact you don't party. So I'm the party guy. Uh, I just I want to preface this with if I fall down at any point, it's because my dog is farting tonight. It's and it's, I'm, it's it's because your your it, body's it's an enclosed it's, a, it's an enclosed space. I'm standing up. My legs are not sure. strong right now. Sure, and my dog sure. is farting. Um, yeah, so recent, my number five ish, knee surgeries. Andrew, I'm the party guy. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's move past it. You're you're ruining your party vibe. <laughs> all right I'm, I'm happy to be the party guy i'm the party guy i thought thomas was the party guy but i guess i'm the party guy fuck yeah me thomas let's do it give me your number five party moves i want to hear them number five uh it's simple it's straightforward it's games um games are the party vibe uh it doesn't matter if you're at a party where you know people or don't uh games get people together and in particular games that involve a lot of people uh drinking games is what i'm mainly thinking of uh my two go-to's um are and you guys will agree definitely with one of them if not both cheers governor is uh one just gets people loud and having fun and looking like idiots which is good for everyone and two is fingers it's simple it's easy and people get way in way too into it uh games number five party move yeah yeah really strong one uh not a cheers governor guy so i i do like that you preface that you know we're going to be into one of them huge fingers guy. so that's a great great one there um and i do like that you mentioned you know games for a group of people because you're not showing up to parties and like laying down a set of cards and playing solitaire by yourself because that would be like the opposite of a party move i've done that but yeah it'd be a little bit of a flex i'm gonna say it's, it'd be a little bit of a flex you'd probably be like Power the coolest move. guy there but i don't people know how many watch. friends you'd make yeah people are gonna watch you see a game of solitaire happening in the wild what are you gonna do not watch it come on it's good entertainment right there uh yeah no i mean this is a great pick i love games who wouldn't love games um my girlfriend i i could think of one person <laughs> yeah. who wouldn't love games but, <laughs> yeah the but, number one anti-game yeah, think of one. but most people are pro games um the one ca- caveat i'll give though is uh y- I feel like you don't want a game that's too overly complicated, especially when you're at a party with like people that you may not know super well. Like sure. you don't you don't want to kill that vibe by like explaining too many rules or like pulling out like you don't advanced, want to kill the party vibe. That's advanced D and D level level like complicated shit. You know you are you are 100 percent correct, and that's why I went with Cheers Governor and Fingers because Fingers sure. very easy, and the, these are both <laughs> games. No, no, listen, 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 listen. These are both games that you start off like early in the night and people can get them and they get worse at them. Fingers sure, right. should be a very simple game, but yes, people are idiots. <laughs> Griffin, you're right. Oh, it can be I very gotta... complicated. So yeah, it, it's all about the vibe for sure. All about the vibe. Yeah, two things there. Andrew, nice humble brag that you have a girlfriend. Really proud of you, <laughs> feeling, good about, feeling good about that. Solid little big dick on the pod. Um, other one, Fingers, the most recent time we played together as a group, we played at at jack and lauren's after party after their wedding and i spent probably i think thomas and i combined probably spent 20 minutes explaining that game to about 12 people yeah but that was the most complicated thing we've ever done after a wedding people were drunk already that you got to start which is sad because the only thing you really need to be able to play fingers is to be able to count to eight we'll say like that's all i have well like no at least one finger finger Yeah. yeah 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 If you are missing nine fingers, honestly, if you're missing all of them and you've got a stump, that's fine. Like, play. we'll play with you. 
That's very nice of you, Griffin. Okay, number I'm not four. Ableist. I, you know, I'm I'm a very inclusionary guy. Number four is my go-to question. Uh, icebreaker when you're with a group of people, whether you're with all new people, some new people, and you know, and there's a little bit of a lull. Like maybe it's happy hour, maybe it's a party. You're all sitting around, everyone's got a drink, everyone's like, oh, it's mm, a little quiet. I uh I would look like you're sipping on lean. <laughs> I'm not used to standing. I sit a lot. I love uh, it. I feel like this is adding to it. Uh, my question is, what's your biggest fear? And and I, 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 you know, and I want everything. I don't care what it is. I want to hear it. And so if it gets, if there's a lull and the party's, you know, party isn't party partying, but everyone's like, how do I get to know these people? I'm like, tell me your biggest fear because you'll get spiders and you'll get someone talking about seeing someone get decapitated once in the streets of Mexico. I've had, I've heard both of them. I know both great stories. Well, spiders, not so much, <laughs> but yeah, ask people what their biggest fear is. And then, I mean, people Hold on. start talking. Thomas, uh, pretend we're at a party real quick and, and ask me that. Yeah. I just want to see how you would do it. So what's everyone's biggest fear? Uh, Andrew, you go first. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's what I was worried about. That was creepy as fuck. Um, <laughs> like kicking, you're you're walking into the party, you're putting your beer down, you're like, all right, guys, I want to talk about our fears and I want to get deep. No. Everyone's just kind of low. You're like, hey, I don't know you, you don't know me. Tell me your darkest fear, biggest, darkest. Like you can't say secret. People don't tell you that. I've tried. Yeah. What's your biggest yeah. fear? So I mean, I'll, I'll give you I'm that. It, 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 that yeah, thank you. I'll give you it's a it's a it's a creative icebreaker and it's, it's like it's more maybe not creative but it's more deep than like, like it's better than like what do you do for work or some you know boring yeah, shit like I that don't give a shit what you do for work tell me what but you it, fear but it is like yeah see don't say it like that you're saying it's so <laughs> weird it's a creative <laughs> icebreaker to be doing at a party like high energy positive event and you're like what's the for thing sure. that you're most afraid of in the world hey what could ruin this mood for you yeah instantly yeah yeah, well, some people will be like, I don't know heights. And I'm like, oh, mine's dropping a baby or being curb stomped. And yours is heights. Are those your two biggest like fears? Or, now we all have to do our biggest, biggest fears. Are they your two biggest fears? Two biggest fears. Two biggest fears. Interesting. Right there. I, How often do you think people are curb stomped? Not often, but I don't ever want to be. Sure. Sure. Also, also Andrew? one time, one one time, too often. That's true. Once one time is arguably the only time you could be. <sighs> See, and now I'm thinking if they about do it, it right, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, no, I look, Julia, for a long time, whenever I would describe like somebody being stomped, and I'm not going to go into depth about it, but whenever somebody yeah, would one. describe being stomped, she How thought that I meant people it? were being curb stomped. And mm. I assume she just thought people in my personal life were dying left and right. Like, I don't really know. Oh, <laughs> not Christ. what I meant. But she was like, yeah, like, they have to have like jaw surgery, like to their face. And I'm like, what are you talking about? what what world do you live in is this what they taught you in fucking rural maryland <laughs> not here nor there andrew since thomas gave his uh fears that he would tell people about which now we know his weaknesses uh what are yours uh, i mean i'd probably say like snakes fuck snakes I'm not a big fan super, uh, here's the thing i also agree snakes scary as fuck get my heart racing uh boring answer and that's what i tell people when they say that at parties well, I think it's a stupid question. So that's what I'll tell you at a party. I don't think it's a stupid question, but I think you're you're kind of setting yourself up for a weird conversation with at least one person. My Absolutely. my my two biggest fears are There's snakes the and then being at a party that gets ruined by Thomas asking a dumb question. Yeah. yeah. Fair. Griffin? Weird. Big Griffin fear. Oh, ladders. Fear. Ladders. Oh. Yeah. yeah, everyone See, knows that, my biggest fear is ladders. That's not as like boring as Andrew's. That's just like, oh, you, you got a problem. Well, yeah, because a lot of people were like, oh, like climbing ladders. And it's like, no, like ladders. Like I'm afraid of ladders. No. But like the idea of ladders, the potential. Does like, that start a conversation? Does that get people interested? Does that get the party going? Yeah. I would say of, so. Maybe. Yeah. Because then once I describe the fact that I've had legitimate dreams about ladders hunting me through the streets, people are like, oh, that person <laughs> is either psychotic or fun, or both. Yeah, you, you know what happens then? They're and I'm like, going to play some drinking games with We're going to take the party like fingers. over here, and then the party's going on, and you're just not part of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not ever, part of the party anymore. Did you ever play shoots and ladders? Going back to your first, uh, your number five pick, Thomas. Griffin, did you ever play oh. shoots and ladders as a kid? No, I don't even know like what the rules of shoots and ladders are. 
Is it like Candyland? I always people if they, people had no. Candyland, they always had shoots and ladders. It's more like eels and escalators. Escalators, yeah. eels. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. It feels certain, like a more complicated version you, of what, what you, the same game. You, you just keep moving by I don't know dice roll or whatever, and if certain spots you land on, there's a ladder, and you take if you land on that spot, you go like you skip a, a way ahead uh, to where the ladder ends, and if you land on a slide or shoot, then you have to go back down to where that ends. There so is it, no it's like a game skill. for children. Yeah, so it's like Dungeons sense. and Dragons without any of the fun parts. You're just like no, moving up and down no, ladders. Nothing, and nothing, it's it's, like, no. it's much closer to Candyland than it is to yeah. Dungeons and Dragons. Love Candyland. Um, okay. Big candy guy. All right. Um, I think number three. I don't know why we talked about our fears. Oh, because it was, it was against four, me. And now I know. <laughs> you already know. Uh, number three. Um, this is just, this is, this is a song. Uh, I put on Mamba number five. I mean, because I mean, there there is not a soul. I don't even know Mamba number one through four, but you put on Mamba number five, and I mean, no one is no longer partying. Everyone is partying. The party is partying. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Erica by my side. A it's gonna be a, bit it's gonna be a fun uh, Instagram post when we post our list because I'm just gonna put like. <laughs> Who wants like whose party would you come to? And I'm just imagining this is your party with games. None of ours. And they would come to none asking, of our parties. Asking about fears. And People that like if someone wanted to go to one of our parties, they wouldn't listen to our podcast. Like this is gonna ruin us for it's already ruined us for people. I like you mentioned your girlfriend earlier. Why do we still have them? I don't know. I don't know. Just don't question it. But I'm just imagining like. Thomas asking about people's fears while mom, mom put number five is playing <laughs> like super that loud. would make it better. I will say that would make it better for me because yeah. there's no way I'm going to be in a bad mood while that song is on. And I feel like telling them about my, my ladder fear events. becomes kind of like chaotic and fun. Here's the chain of events or ladder of events, whatever we want to call it. Fuck you. Parties. Uh, no one's talking. Oh, oh my God. I don't know you. What I don't care you about what to? you do, where you're from. What's your biggest fear? Oh my god, I'm so scared. Ghosts. Oh, oh my god, is that Mamba number five? Party, party, party. Oh, we're playing games. Mamba number five party. If somebody I mean, says their biggest fear is ghosts, are you still friends with them after that conversation? Or are oh, you like I know I question see. them? I question yeah. them. I'm like, yeah. why? Yeah. Why? They can't do anything. Why? Like I could encounter a ladder at any time. You could encounter a snake at any time. You could encounter <laughs> failure or whatever it was you said at any time like why 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 would you say did you talk to my therapist we we don't we don't need to, need to get, talk to a therapist we don't need to get into it in detail right now but i don't think i really believe in ghosts but even but griffin oh, i don't think God. you're in a i don't think you're in a position to say that people with who are, are scared of ghosts have an irrational fear when we just discussed your fear of ladders Andrew, I was worried you were about to say I don't believe in Mama Number Five, and I was about to hang up. Oh, I, I forgot that. Leave. I forgot that's I what we were relieved. supposed to be talking about. Yeah, um, no one on this is afraid of ghosts. <laughs> Mama Number I hope. Five is my number. I three. hope I would. I would consider replacing somebody on this pod if I found out one of you guys was afraid of ghosts. Honestly, I would just get rid of both of you, and it'd just be me giving three lists every week. Yeah, it seems to imply that you're at the top of the ladder of this podcast, and I think people would disagree. But well, you know, we know continue you with your list. We know you're not at the top. Yeah, you you're nowhere near it. You can't climb. We're ladder. we're all at the bottom rung. You know, I'm at the top, holding a baby, facing my fear. God, hate that. Hate that so much. <laughs> all right, number three is Mama. Number five. Um, number two is a, a truthfully, I uh, mean, a party move I've used. I've been countless times and not that I've been to countless parties, but I've just used this countless times. Uh, my number two party move is um, to leave. It's, uh, it's to leave. Um, that's just, that's I it. knew that I was going to make this, this list. Is, to this leave. Is, this is, this isn't about anybody else having a good time. This is just me about uh, leaving. Is there any like qualifier or adjective to go it's like to leave uh early to irish goodbye to i mean that like, that that is my see i there's two options when i'm at a party either i'm irish goodbying before anyone else has one either got there or let's say they're there i'm the first one leaving two i'm the last one to leave because i'm like oh i guess i'll help clean up because i'm still here and mama number five is still playing on repeat for the 600th time in a row um so really you've been to this party for a while that's a, that's a long playlist so fucking terrible it's like a five minute song uh no it's just it's just leaving i mean 
You don't want to be there, leave. Maybe you do want to be there, but it's not fun. You leave. I mean, just leave. You don't like, you don't I, do. I don't like, <laughs> you don't like, I you don't, don't do. do. That's true. I imagine, because I, I know this is one of your moves, and I, you definitely referenced it before. Um, and, you, you know, we've been around you at parties. I've come to realize that I think you leave parties even when you are having a good time, like unprompted. Yeah. Like you will not tell yeah. people you're leaving. You want to go out on a high or you're having a bad time and you're like, yeah, I'm going to go out on a low. There's no fixing this. I'm going out like either Apollo Creed or, uh, you know, just like Apollo Creed. Uh, yeah, leaving. yeah. Just in I'm a, leaving at the beginning of the movie. In a casket. Cool. Yeah, I could see you like like telling a, a joke that just kills after telling like 10 that didn't that were awful and then you know and then just leaving on that high note that that yeah. does accurately sum up thomas's and my batting average when it comes to jokes at a party i throw on mamba, mamba number five as i'm walking out the door <laughs> i think we're gonna have to put up a mamba number five counter on this episode see how Do many times it gets mentioned to use that song because no we are I'll not going to be playing that I'll song pay. i'm sure the royalties on it are absurd I'm paying it. Um, Although, granted, yeah, this so is not a monetized two. podcast yet. So I think maybe we could do it. I don't know. I don't really up, understand up, up. the law. I, I don't understand how it works, but subscribe to see us get sued. <laughs> uh, next, do a live, next, live stream from court. Next list night, you know, top five reasons we get sued. Yes. Yeah. I'm in. Right, I'm cool. in. Uh, so number two is leave. Uh, number one, um, it's consume. Uh, just consume. Um, if there's food there, eat it. Uh, alcohol, drink it. Uh, just consume. No one's talking to you. Put more things in your mouth. People are talking to you. Put more things in your mouth. If alcohol, drink more. Food, eat more. It's there. They don't want leftovers. They're going to throw it out. Just put it in you. Just consume. <laughs> I imagine you were really popular at frat parties. Oh, yeah. I totally, uh, yeah. I went to <laughs> parties. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I like uh, how you very... spun that. I like how you spun that to be like the most, you're the most generous giving person. Like they don't want the leftovers. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm doing everyone at this party a big favor, especially the host. They don't want chips that, no one's going to put those chips away at the end of the night. So they're going to get stale. So I might as well eat them all while sure. consuming said alcohol yeah i mean as the number one chip guy i fully agree on that like you gotta you gotta eat what's in front of you even though quite honestly when i go to parties my biggest thing is that i forget to eat but i do not forget to consume alcohol so it tends to it's be a liquid diet happen. kind of it's night but i feel like you've got you've got the smarter version of it maybe yeah. not the healthier version but the smarter version chip drink chip drink 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 chip drink chip drink chip drink 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 mama number so, five chip <laughs> uh, when you're eating these chips you're eating you're eating one chip at a time so you're really not no, eating see, that see, no no listen here listen here for a long time i've said to myself eat one chip at a time it's healthier i can't i i i got little hands but yet i still grab as many as my claw yeah. can get and then it's yeah. just like you know yeah i noticed the other night i was standing in the kitchen and i was still sober hadn't hadn't smoked hadn't had anything to drink just standing in the kitchen about 11 15 at night just finished working um and i around 11 15 started eating a bag of chips didn't stop eating them until 11 35 did not do anything else in that time just hand in eat hand in eat ate the vast majority of a massive bag of chips did not feel good about myself was mama number five playing it was not playing it was very quiet okay, in the so, house i could so that, hear that every bit of my weird... shame that was a weird time to use my party move. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, really yeah, no, it was. I was by myself. Didn't even have the dogs with me. Um, did Did you have like the TV on or your phone with you, or were you just like standing, standing in, in the kitchen in the dark, straight up in quiet? Like, I had the uh, I had the the light over the <laughs> oven on, so there was like a little bit of like light going on, but like not a lot. This, I was quite this, literally living in my shame, just eating chips. So you could see, my... you could barely see your fucking pathetic reflection in the microwave. <laughs> I could see, I could see the the salt on the chip. And I could see basically nothing else. And my my new biggest fear oh, is seeing Griffin in shadow, just eating chips in my kitchen one morning or night. I, I it doesn't matter. New biggest. It fear. shouldn't be your biggest fear because I'm telling you right now, if that's happening, you're. I'm not plotting anything against you. I'm plotting against myself. 
I just I I'm I'm sorry that my consume was your like alone time and not your party time. Yeah, it was a bit of a trigger, bit of a trigger for me. You know, it's it's all right. We'll we'll move past it. I like consume as a pick, I guess. Kind of unhealthy, yeah. but yeah, so are just, we. It's just, it's just a verb, but I respect it. I yeah. consume. If you fine, fine. Consume no, it's fine. the people. Uh, Consume Don't get the what people. they have to say. Make friends. Consume the music. Let it wash over you. No. Put things What in accent mind. is this? Because it started off as like SoCal, like Valley Girl kind of like surfer. That did. It did a little bit. And then it's kind of, you got like a little like European tinge in there towards the end. And that was confusing yeah. to me. Yeah, you have, you have um, range. No, see, that's the one thing. I lose, There's not an accent I can do. They're just all the same. Yeah, there's just weird like, voices like that you Paul go Paul Rudd in I Love You Man, where his Irish and Jamaican are just the same thing. Yeah, sure, sure. I have um, always okay, thought so, of you as the Paul Rudd of our group. Yeah, I am so good looking. Uh, number five, games. Uh, party moves, games, number five. Uh, number four, biggest fear, just ask it, find out. Maybe you want to talk to them later, maybe you don't. Maybe Griffin's eating chips in your kitchen, I don't know. Number three, put on Mama number five. It really gets the people going. You know, it just it just does. Nobody knows what it means, but it gets the people going. Uh, number two is leave. Uh, best party move I've ever made. Um, leave. Number one is consume. Just alcohol, food. If you don't drink, just water. Uh, I don't know, soda. Like, take things you can put in your mouth and put them in there. What do you mean that nobody knows what Stop number five Stop saying things means? like that, man. <laughs> Nobody knows what it means. It just gets the people going. Uh, Yeah. This is a party that I would attend because of the copious amounts of alcohol and food. No one said this is all one party. I mean, I I know. I I I think it's pretty clear this is one party. This is your perfect party. What are you guys doing for my birthday next year? Probably not seeing you. If, if, If history, if tradition shows anything, I won't be seeing you. Good what's list. Up, that's what's up. Yeah, I think I don't think there's anything on that list that uh, I would throw out of bed. I mean, is it my ideal party? Probably not. Uh, particularly the you leaving point, because I feel like you always leave when I'm still kind of on a high, and then like that kind of like bums me out. But I mean, I guess it works out for you. So works six percent of the time, every time. Yeah. Andrew, uh, this is when you tell me how good my list is. Uh, I said what I said. I would attend the party. <laughs> I would attend the party. It's, that was the most Andrew. I can't tell if that's a compliment or not, it, because I just don't would, think you have that many options. It would be worth uh, sitting through Mambo number five over and over and hearing about my, and talking about my fears just to eat and drink a lot of food and alcohol. That's a party guy. Yeah. 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 All right. That guy parties. All right. Yeah. I guess no, no pushback from either of us, I guess. It's a list. Yeah. So, you know, we'll get together in two months to hear your guys' lists or what's up? No, we're gonna we're gonna do it right now. I don't know if you know how this works, but we're gonna do it right now. Uh, it's been a long time. Yeah. It's been it's been a while and uh, kind of out of practice. Got to shake off the cobwebs a little bit. Number five on my list. I think you called it party vibes. Did you call it party vibes or party moves? I think I called it moves, but I said vibes more than I have ever in my life before. Sure, sure, sure. I've definitely said vibes a lot in my life. You guys know that. I'm all about the vibes, but this is a move, list of uh, party vibes. Uh, number five on my list never show up solo and in parentheses try to keep the gender balance intact you know i mean i think we've all been at parties throughout our lives particularly as uh teens and in our early college years where you know some people like particularly men that show up to uh parties rolling deep with 13 of their buddies don't do that also don't be the guy that shows up by themselves Uh, what if you don't know anybody you gotta have somebody to talk to you gotta you know, kind of set the vibe a little bit and you want to bring somebody that other people want to hang out with, but rolling deep with too many penises. Don't, don't do that. I don't care how old you are. You'd be 70 years old, go into a retirement party, show up with somebody. See, I agree with the never show up solo. Like, you don't show up alone. Like, you know, unless it's a party where like, you know, everyone, but I don't know. This or a wedding. Thing, I, if you get invited yes. to a wedding and you don't have a plus one, do not bring anybody. He, he, fair fair here's the thing about my gender balance i think it's antiquated i think i think your your thinking is outdated 
and I would show up to many parties with just penises with me. But you're not doing it for you. You're doing it for everybody else at the party. Also, you don't know what they like. Yikes. You don't know what they like. You don't know what they like. Unless they specifically hate women, then I mean, I'm not saying you have to only show up like one guy and four women, but like, you know, if it's just you, bring bring a couple friends. You know, maybe a couple couples. So, like, it doesn't have to be single people either. Just like, don't have a ton of dudes. And also, again, don't be a serial killer showing up by yourself. So this pick is like, I'm trying to put myself back in the like 18 to 22 year old range because this is like really what i'm thinking about is because now it's like it's different I, yeah I'm, I'm not like rolling up to a party where i like don't really know anyone um but i was actually going to say the opposite of thomas like i i almost i understand what you're going with with the with the gender one griffin but the solo one i i don't think is that bad it like it's it's bad in the context of you don't know the hosts at the party but if you know the hosts of the party then i don't think there's any reason why you shouldn't show up solo Maybe I'm maybe I'm just a loser, but no, I, I, I no, I would argue I you're better at talking that. to people than I am. Yeah, I agree with that, but I agree with Griffin. Where like, if I only know the host, I don't want to show up solo because the host is busy. Right. So yeah. I want someone don't. to call. And and here, here's the thing, guys. You know this. I'm uh, alone. I'm 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 okay. I'm okay. But when I'm with somebody, I'm I'm much better. You're better. Much better. Yeah. yeah. You know, I yeah. I need I need a vibe. I need to feed off somebody. You go so from I a get, triple A player to an all star. That's absolutely so like Andrew, true. I, I don't. I, I agree with what you're saying, Andrew. But just you know, like Griffin, I can't show up. So, yeah, yeah. No, I I, I get that. Yeah, it's just a matter of and, like how many people you you know, whether they're the, they're the host yes. or other people that will be at the party. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, because yeah. again, you don't want to be the guy that globs onto the host. Like, right? No, the host doesn't want that. Really, you don't want that. The other people there don't want that. Like, it's just a bad look. Yeah. But here's the thing: if you do show up solo and the host is busy and it's the only person you know, just consume. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. No, drink yourself into an early grave at that point and eat, 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 eat. eat. Yeah. Make sure all you the don't get invited have. back because you yeah. ate all the food and drank all the alcohol. Yeah, but I mean that's a story for everybody else. They'd be yeah. like, remember that guy that showed up solo and ate everything, including like paint chips? Yeah, that guy was weird. <laughs> don't don't yeah, invite he, him he's again. He's dead now. He's dead. Yeah. Bet you that guy's not afraid of ladders. Speaking of eating and drinking everything, real quick, uh, side note, I'm going, oh uh, to, I'm planning on going to the Nats game with a couple of friends on Friday and a friend of a friend is apparently attempting the nine hot dogs and nine beers in nine innings challenge. I think it was that's, a fantasy. I think it was a fantasy. I love that so much. Sorry, yeah. Like, I just, I don't think that's like, we could do it. Like, like what, we could oh, do it. that hard? I yeah. think it's very reliant on the matchup that you're you're witnessing. If you've got a pitcher's duel where you're getting guys out of there in 15, like 15 pitches an inning, I don't think it's doable. But if you've got, you know, if you've got starters going deep into innings and then you've got, you know, relievers that keep getting knocked around, you got a high offense game. I don't think it's that hard. Here's my here's my thing. No pain, no glory. Pound it down. Get it over. With. I want to try this, thing. but go ahead. Yeah. No, you're gone. I was Do just gonna say home. I want to try it, but at home, yeah, I don't. I'm not yeah. trying to drop 200 bucks. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's. Low. It's also like, are number. we? Are, what's what's the standard size of a beer? Like we're doing normal size beers, right? So, we're not doing like the jumbo shit. What's the standard size of a beer mm, at like? I, I didn't think about so, that. So I uh, yeah, so I asked my friend that like 16 um, ounces. It was so it's either 16 or 25. So I think they're they'll mm. just do 25 and count it as two because it's right. You know, 24 yeah, would 12, be two. 12. What's a what's a can of Bud Light? Are those 10 ounces? 12. 12 ounces 12 okay so in a power hour you're doing about six or seven of those and you're doing those in an hour but you're not eating during that that's right. the thing that really feels like it would fuck me up is the fact that i have to also eat those nine but i could do nine beers in an hour if we absolutely have to i could definitely do it in a baseball game the hot dogs i think as time goes on are going to be my issue yeah Here's my thing. it, it is I a lot can't, i can't consume like i used to but if you tell me this is what you got to do I'm, I'm, you fight through the pain like I, I saw the other one like people still do like you have to sit in a waffle house for 24 hours and every pancake you eat so easy you take every off pancake an hour. is like one less hour and i saw a, a pan guy was yeah like, the guy was i'd like, be out of there in, i'd hours. be out of there in two hours i'd eat 22 yeah, pancakes he was like i've been here for two hours i have three pancakes i really don't want any more and i was like three pancakes 
Yeah, so like what's what was wrong with you as a child that you can't eat more than three pancakes in 24 hours? What, did you eat? And also, you what's your big issue with being in a Waffle House for 24 hours? Like, <laughs> that's not that bad of a punishment. If it was like, if you don't complete like a certain number of pancakes, you go to jail for a day. Sure, <laughs> I would understand the issue. But <laughs> Waffle House is just like a low tier restaurant. Like, like, it has air conditioning. Griffin, what kind of like goofy mafia men are you getting into trouble with that they? <laughs> Are sending you to whatever. I don't. I'm just saying that would not be a fun thing to do. I don't want to go to jail for a day. I I'm may have pretty. gotten us derailed a bit. I should yeah, have brought up bit. the hot dogs. Uh, thing. Griffin, what's your number four? We're gonna do the hot dog thing, and we're gonna film it. And also, okay. Thomas and I talked about this. I think all three of us may have talked about this. We're doing an episode drunk one of these days because we haven't done it yet, oh, and I'm, yeah. I'm ready to be burping and hiccuping all 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 night. We're talking like junk, junk, right? Yeah. Next time we're all in purpose in, in person together, we're doing a, we're doing a drinking episode. Uh, regardless, moving on to uh, number four. Uh, most of these are going to have like an A and B to them. Uh, Fuck, you're the worst. <laughs> uh, shared playlists. You don't get ten picks. Shared playlists and music that people like. Like, just don't be the guy or girl who shows up to a party, takes over the aux cord, and puts on your favorite album of a genre that no one else gives a fuck about. If you're at a fucking house party and people are having a good time listening to whatever like top 40 music's on or whatever like 90s rap they liked back in the day, don't put on fucking EDM. If you're <laughs> at the after party of a wedding, don't put on Lil Wayne's latest album in full. Put on music that people already know. Uh, and I'm not going to say that's yeah. targeted. But yeah, I feel like this it might ring some bells for you guys. No, uh, no, 100%. You read the room. Read the room. Don't, and you know what? Yeah, it's okay to switch it up, but switch it up within reason. You know, like if someone's playing something really good, just put on Mama Number Five next. <laughs> just yeah, add it, it to the queue. After every song, Mama Number Five. It's, it's like a, it's like a, a you know, you, you got to rinse the taste buds a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the point is a party is not the time to be like showing people new music, really. Unless yes. it's like, unless it's like a specific, like a new music themed party or something, you know, like yeah. with all. Unless the... that's, yeah. Right. <laughs> unless yeah. that's the point. Right. Yeah. It, it's it's just, you know, you can have you a guys separate. going to a lot of music themed parties. <laughs> you can have a, you yeah, can have a separate. You have a separate like you know hangout sesh to show your friends music if you want to and they want to um but yeah it's not it's not the move yeah no th this is this is a fine pick i mean i i think you could have just said like read the room with music wise i don't think you need to say shared playlist but also play good music like yeah it's kind of like picking two things i've so, okay well then we'll we'll go with the second half i think shared playlists have a lot of value but they're also kind too. of a recent thing. Like it used to be way more difficult to do a shared playlist. Now you can just like send a Spotify link where people send it around. But yeah. Here's I the mean, thing about a share, all the shared Make good musical choices. Shared playlist is just making the cue before the party. It's one and the same. Yeah. Yeah. Or in some cases, sitting by yourself for an hour at a party to set up the perfect cue so that people validate your existence. Not that I've ever done that. <laughs> <laughs> Number three on my list, <laughs> kind of along the same lines, provide value. You know, go into a house party, bring a case, bring a bottle, <laughs> bring bring something, uh, go into a barbecue, bring a side dish, whatever, you know, go into like a, a pregame before you're going out or something like that. Kind of the same thing. Like, just don't expect the host to take care of everything and don't just go take advantage of people. I'm glad you elaborated because you said provide value. And I was like, fuck. And then you're like, like, bring a case. I was like, oh, I can do that. I can pick up some. Beer. I, I was worried. I agree. I was worried that like. In I Thomas's case, bring a bunch of bad jokes and make sure that at least one of them hits. Deal. Yeah, I know. I, I know that you'll sure one hits. <laughs> yeah. No, this is a good pick. I mean, yes, yeah. especially if you're like a um, serial uh, moocher where you don't yeah. provide any value like time and time again. It's just like, and that's, that's not a targeted <sighs> one. Not like the, the previous one. There's nothing targeted about that. I think no. everyone just knows people that do that or has been at parties where people do that. And like, everyone's frustrated with you. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, no, I, I agree with Andrew. Like this is a good pick. Cause yeah, I mean, 
and, and again, it's not always about like you shouldn't show up empty handed, like completely empty handed. But yeah, it's just in general, like don't be the guy there who didn't bring anything, but also doesn't like give lend a hand for anything. Like provide value. It, it's a good way to put it. Yeah. Honestly, if you don't have anything to bring, bring ice. No one ever bring has ice. enough ice. It's always gonna need more of it. Yeah. All right. Wow. I didn't think I was gonna get a uh, no positive no, no issues with that one. All right. You, you thought you thought we were gonna push back on people on who provide, provide value. value. Yeah, I really <laughs> thought you guys were gonna push back hard on provide value, and I thought there was gonna be a lot more bullying of me involved in there, and there was really none. So I'm not really sure what to do with myself. You usually show up with something, even if it's just Julia. I mean, she's valuable. She's valuable. That's true. That's. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you to bring. That I've said. I'm gonna ask you to bring a ladder next time I have a party. You're a fuck. I hate you. I'll do it, but I won't enjoy it. All right, number two on my list. Uh, I actually stole this one from one of you guys in the group chat the other day. It was not on my list, and then you said it, and I was like, "That's fucking genius," because this is exactly what I did back in the day. And sometimes, coffee and liquor. You want to have a good time at a party? You want to stay up late? You want to be out a long time? You want to feel good the next morning? Coffee and liquor. Whether it's... Coffee and you don't even know her. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Uh, What I used to do was the gigantic Nalgene with iced coffee. We we said uh, said provide value. Yeah. I I know. I know. Yeah, that was... (laughs) I mean, Thomas is laughing, so the joke hit. I guess the joke hit. No, it really didn't. I'm just laughing. I don't think he's laughing with you, was. though. Yeah. That's, now, that's, June, uh, and iced coffee and Bailey's, or if you're trying to get fucked up, whiskey. I think that might have been mentioned in uh, in the group chat the other day. Um, probably not super great for your health, but if you don't want to be the guy who goes to bed earlier or has to leave the party earlier or anything like that, it's a pretty strong move. So I'm I'm a little torn because I, I love coffee and liquor as a drink. Um, brunch right before this podcast times like that after thanksgiving holidays yeah. i don't really feel it as like a part i mean i don't drink coffee like you necessarily but i don't feel it as like a party drink um i feel well, like you also a, leave parties earlier than i do and that might you know correct that balance well, i i i like I, I would almost show up with it as, as my first drink but like when you like i'd finish it before i got there sure you know but i like that's why i'm torn like it's not a party drink to me but it is a drink i love or a type of drink though. I think everyone's asking themselves, guy shows up to a party, he's got a coffee that reeks of alcohol in his hand. They're thinking, what was that guy up to today? He's What's he got, getting into later? Yeah, he's got an yeah. Irish coffee in one hand and half a bag of melted ice in the other. <laughs> and then someone else shows up and they have like Coke and everyone's like, oh yeah, the coffee guy sucks. <laughs> or all about the Coke guy. Yeah, the coffee guy's like, you were probably at this exact same party yesterday or a similar one. <laughs> Yeah, and you're well, you could be right 15, now. you could be 55. Coke guy, he's got like a, he's got a, a period of time where he's the man, and then it just gets weird. Yeah, I think I agree with Thomas. I don't really agree with this one. Um, I mean, I, I get it. I like coffee drinks, uh, but yeah, like you said, Thomas, like brunch, like yeah. early, early tailgate, stay drink it. Like I don't, I don't know. I, I'm just thinking a party. Like I'm usually drinking like beer, playing some games. Um, not really mixing coffee with that too much and because yeah. i've also gone to parties like where i'm really tired and i'm like i could use coffee right now but i usually like you know you you, you just like feed off the energy of the party and you don't you like you push through you don't really need that like or caffeine. you, you turn on mamba number five and the, <laughs> the energy's there right it's just no, natural I, yeah. natural hey, caffeine Andrew, you, you nailed it like tailgates like coffee and liquor is a slow and like bonfire tailgate brunch like i'm not there i'm there to get fucked up but i'm starting slow if i'm already at a party i'm just consuming just throw things in there as fast as possible so you can leave as fast as possible i like how we're still talking about this like we're like 20 years old and still going to like house parties all the time talking about getting like fucked up at parties i go to a party now and i'm like "Mm, i've had three beers probably won't have a fourth (laughs) probably yeah, not yeah. a great idea yeah now now it's like someone's like cooking a nice dinner and everyone goes home at nine yeah, <laughs> yeah. i go God, on a beach so nice trip though. with the guys i'm gonna drink you know three and a half cases of beer but that's that's not a party it, that's you're a gonna feel it for a month yeah I'm, I'm that's gonna, a that's a business not just trip. the beer it's a business yeah. trip that is that is a business trip 
All right. All right. Good, good drink, bad pick. Sure. All right. Well, I'll take it. Uh, number one, kind of, sort of the antithesis to what Thomas said earlier, but also kind of in line with it. My number one is exit plan. At a certain point, you are going to want to leave, particularly if you don't like being the last guy at a party, but being the guy with the rep as doing like Irish goodbyes, not great for people having you out or liking you being around. This is you not talking towards people, Thomas. People don't like a little mystery. <laughs> I don't think there's any mystery. I think like, you just get tired of that people. guy go. Did he go home or is he in the alley? Passed it's, out? it's just good goes. to preemptively have an excuse to get out of there ahead of time that you don't have to make up on the fly. You know, mm. sometimes I, I did this all the time, particularly growing up. I'd fucking take a call. No one was on the phone, but I'd take a call and I'd walk out and I would just leave. And people would be like, oh, he had something to do because he had to take a call. But it's not an Irish goodbye at that point because you have then given everybody there the idea that you have something more important going on. Now that's, I wouldn't that is, do that, that is, because now that Julia has to Irish drive goodbye. me home. So I can't just... That is, that's still an Irish goodbye, because you could easily right, just be not, like, right? stepping out into the hallway or outside no, you gotta be that like, call. And I got to take a call, really important. People think maybe work meeting. They think, oh, maybe your grandma's yeah. dead. Maybe she already you is. Know how many times I, I started leaving parties and people are like, where are you going? I'm like, oh, I'll be right back. And then I don't come right back. That's the same thing. That's the same yeah, thing. That, it, you're it, yeah. implying that you're coming back. And then you don't. You're you worse. You're a liar. no. I'm implying that I have something important that I have to do. You're the last. Whereas you're, you're saying you're coming back, and you're just leaving. <laughs> have you ever been I'm called out on that? I'm creating an happened? alternative to the party. You're just choosing not to be at the party. Yeah, I, I like that, Andrew. Have you ever been called out on that? Like the next day, someone's like, "Hey, Griffin, how was Absolutely. that important phone call?" Absolutely. Absolutely. No people you're have like, been, no called me out and been like, "Yes, yeah, so you took a phone call, and then you like left, and people were like kind of worried about what happened." And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, just had to, like, go check in on whatever it was I said. I don't know. Well, people are ever like, Griffin, that's not a phone. That's a bar of soap. No one's ever said that because I've never picked up a bar of soap and tried to use it as a phone. But should that ever happen, I would hope that someone would call me out and I or like institutionalize I, me. I, I, I agree with your initial thought of, like, yeah, have an exit strategy. Like, if you don't plan to spend the night there, no have a plan where your limit is when you're leaving who you're leaving with how you're leaving whatever know what's going on you know unless if it's one of those nights where it's like what happens happens that's fine too but your fake phone call is stupid i said i don't do the fake phone call anymore i said i did that as a teenager yeah you guys are it, like if you want to do this now you guys are both set because you have dogs and you could just uh, dogs are always like i gotta walk the well, dogs. now, or now like, it's like preemptively you tell people when you walk in the door you're like hey i can't stay that long i gave you back to the dogs and if you do end up having a really good time and you want to stay a while then you pull out your phone and you're like oh no i just got a wag walker and you didn't fuck them dogs but like <laughs> you could tell I, them yeah. I thought you were gonna be like drinking. It's just like fuck them dogs. <laughs> they'll be fine. Yeah, they'll let themselves out. Um, all right. I say that uh, despite being the most codependent person ever on my dogs. All right, in, I'll take indifferent. In, indifferent, more leaning towards dumb pick. Sure, yeah. Mister. From your explanation, because if you hadn't explained it, I'd I'd be for it. That's. I think that's a lot of my picks. <laughs> it's a lot of my picks. Let me do the recap, and then we'll uh, hit it with Andrew. Uh, number five, don't show up solo. Try and keep the gender balance intact. Uh, number four, if you're hosting or just showing up, make sure you've got good musical selection. Uh, number three, provide value. Don't be a mooch. Number four, coffee and liquor. And number five, I went in the exact reverse order, but you guys know what I mean. Exit plan. Yeah. Oh, fuck, you did. God damn it, you're dumb. Yeah, yeah. I was this is how I numbered them on my on my sheet because I just used the uh, Gmail bulleted list and I went in opposite order, but it's fine. You guys uh your legs getting tired? I need no, a little dude, because I, I'm I not fucking fat. I hate need standing. a little uh, stretch I'm, here. I am not for standing. I feel I feel good with the choices that Have we you made. You see me lean like seven times over here. I'm, and you I'm know sweating. what? I got I that was my your party standing move. hour. <laughs> so your girlfriend's not going to beat me she's still probably going to beat me but it's not going to be as close or as, as distant all right oh, damn yeah i gotta get some points she's she's two points away from hitting 1200 so <laughs> all right time for my list number five yay number five power hour 
I'm combining Fuck yeah. like I'm combining like a few of the things you guys said. Like, you know, good music, good playlist, drinking Where? game. Uh I guess that's it. Um no. power hour. Consume. 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 Consume, consume. 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 more than anything. Consume. consume. Yeah. So I was gonna not put this on the list because I was like, you know, power hour is more of like a non-party like pre-game or like I don't know, just like not not party. But it is party. It's party all the way. It's a party move. Um, if if I see if I walk into a party and there's a group of people about to start a par- power hour, and by group of people I mean you guys and like <laughs> our our other three friends, um, I'm I'm beelining to that. You're jumping in. You're jumping. Uh, in. Yeah, I'm not. I quite like, literally don't know anybody else our age that's still power hours. Because the because the alternative is I'm like like gonna stand there and someone's gonna ask me about my fears or something. It's it's not gonna be good. So I'm just gonna. <laughs> Sit down, <laughs> grab a shot glass, and have a good time. Uh, you know, my initial thought was the same as yours, where I was like, just like coffee liquid, like I love it, but it's not party. But you're right, I've done, I've done plenty of power hours just us chilling, and plenty of power hours like in the middle of a party because someone's just like, hey, let's power up, and I'm like, morphin time, you know. Pterodactyl. I want you guys to know um, when you were both planning on coming to LA in in a couple months, I'm putting together an agenda of stuff for us to do, and one of my requirements on there was going to be a power hour. We're still going to do one, but you know Thomas just isn't going to be part of it, so it's going to be you know less less funny and less consumption based. Zoom me in. All right, happily, we'll, we'll hold you to that. Um, okay. <laughs> Glad no pushback on that one. That one's easy. That was a great right. pick. I mean, did, yeah, Fantastic did pushback. Pick. Yeah. No. Look at you us. made this list for us. Uh, eh, we'll see. Uh, number four, I when we talk about party moves, like I try to think of one that was like, you know, what, like your fear question, Thomas. Like, what's something that you might like say to spark a conversation or to say something? Um, and I went with I like, I, I went with ask like ask like a nerdy question like what's your like what, what's your go-to starter pokemon for example uh what's your hogwarts house like or honestly oh. any of any of the lists we've done would be a great like any of our previous episodes would be a great uh conversation starter like what are your favorite mi- minor holidays you know <laughs> looking what, for a new podcast what, what's, what's your favorite <laughs> olympic sports yeah basically it's just a plug to tell them to go listen to this night. go listen to this episode Jeez. and then come back and let's talk about it but I, but that's thing. that's what i went with nerd ask a nerdy yeah. question sure. i i obviously love the concept because it goes along with my uh number four just you know you're copying me again um but if i go to a party just like you said with the fear and someone goes, what's your Hogwarts house? I'd be like, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I have zero yeah. interest in talking to you. I don't care what your house is. I don't care if you know what my house is. I don't know what my house is. I don't want to talk to you. What's your biggest fear? Tell me it so I can leave. Yeah, I'd like, I mean, when you say it like that, which is you just said it normally, I kind of hate <laughs> myself for saying it. Like, I, I wouldn't ever just say that to a person. But like, it's more just like, you know, as you're, um mid conversation maybe or uh and and you know honestly the hogwarts house one is is, is pretty cringe but what, like, what do you do I, for a living where are you from what's your nah, yeah. nah, i hate those questions so so i agree i agree i think my pushback is kind of in line with thomas's and i don't, I don't think this is an awful pick i think there's just the chance of this pick going really wrong for you and you end up stuck in conversation with someone who's terribly boring mm. but you've I don't know. I just see, but but he, here's the thing: with our group of friends, this is a good direction to get a like a debate without like a fun debate going. An argument, but Griffin, Griffin, it, an yeah, argument. Yes, yes, <laughs> but it, yeah, it's it's, it's going to depend on the people because Griffin's right. You could get in a conversation about Hogwarts houses with someone you don't actually want to talk to because everyone else stopped listening, but they zeroed in on you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah they had so you go to a party yeah. and you ask somebody, you know, what was your favorite, you know, starter Pokemon? And they're like, no, my parents uh, didn't let me watch Pokemon because that's how, that's like how you become a Same. devil worshiper. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't want to be at that party anymore. I've now ruined the party for myself entirely. Now you're leaving. Now you're leaving. Yeah, so here's yeah. My and, and I'm going question, to TP a house at 30 years old. And it's like, come on. <laughs> okay. Sad. Uh, Andrew, uh, are you, are you in your mind? Are you asking one person, or is this like a group? 
because my fear one is usually a group yeah i, I think I if you ask the fear I, one to one person they're creepy. gonna leave the party it's creepy i think i'd I, i'd like to ask it as a group like yeah. like like if i was asking the starter pokemon question to like six people it, it would be like to count you know to to compare like how many people are picking charmander how many people are picking and, and you're right it's kind of like to spark a friendly debate um maybe i've just been you know recording these episodes for too long but that's that's kind of the mindset i just imagine andrew coming to the door being like what's everyone's starter pokemon go <laughs> is that better than you coming in the door and being like what's everyone's biggest fear no because in my mind andrew's going to a party where nobody knows him yeah are yep. you not going to a party where no one knows you no at least two people you know me you agreed at, with at the pick when, about having somebody with you right i just showing there. showing up solo <laughs> yeah andrew's showing up solo thomas and... is showing up with 13 dudes <laughs> <laughs> he's showing what's up with the entire try bad frat what's your biggest fear and it's just just dudes <laughs> just just yeah. 14 14 you know out of shape dudes here's the thing there's always one in shape dude here's the thing i don't think we're going to get many invites after this to any no. parties we weren't no. getting many invites we, to begin we with. might we might lose invites we currently have oh yeah i imagine people are going to lose room at their weddings for me i can think of one party that i'm invited to currently and it's the christmas party i uh counting weddings that's half our listeners weddings, that's half our listeners yeah yeah. All right. Uh, number three, Thomas, you're going to get mad at me again saying I'm stealing your pick, but uh, I'm, I also have been known to do this. Mama uh, number five? I'm just leaning into it. Irish goodbye. I'm not saying like yeah, exit plan. I'm not doing any of the, what'd you call it, Thomas? Just leave. leave. I just said leave. Just call it I leave. leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Make no, no. like a tree. No, no, no. I'm just going Irish goodbye. I think it's a great exit, ex exit strategy or lack thereof. It's just, yeah. just leave you don't need to get through all the you know walk around the whole be party, goodbye. say goodbye to everyone um what do you mean why do we use the term irish goodbye or what do you mean you know what i mean xenophobic so here's the thing i definitely like, said irish goodbye safe. five minutes ago i'm just kidding people don't know where you are you, you tell one person and then you still just leave yeah i um and it's safe yeah, or you don't. Whatever. Like, let them yeah, think. No, I, I agree. Or you don't. I, I mean, agree. yeah, sure. If people are actually worried, then yeah, you text someone or whatever. But um, if you're at a party with people... No one's going to be. No one's going to be worried. If I, Thomas I, or I are leaving a party without telling anybody, a lot of people are worried. If you leave a party, they're like, oh, no, he's, like, tired. Or, like, he's going to go, like, weird be emotionally guy. secure. I went to uh, Boston <laughs> one year for work and I Irish goodbye oh, my boss and a supplier because I we were just like, we were having drinks and we actually it was like after dinner, we were having drinks and I was getting like pretty too drunk, I guess. And I was just like only probably six, six to eight months into the job. And I was just like, eh, this is probably stupid. So then I just called an Uber and went to the hotel. And then I texted I, my boss. I was like, yeah, I left. I do that on like a daily basis when like yeah salesman's there and like we're talking for a while and then my boss and him are talking and then i'm just like and and then i'm gone you back away like homer <laughs> simpson just, in the bushes i can't just turn around you guys might have been with me i think thomas might have been with me my first week on the job at my first job out of college uh i was interning at the time and we went to a nats game after like a work event and I got belligerently drunk, not belligerently, I wasn't like aggressive, but I got blackout drunk and I Irish goodbye like my entire company. Yeah, I, I want to say you were there, Thomas. Yeah. They probably I'm respected sure. you for it. They Do probably, not remember being there. You, like Thomas said, leave them wanting more. Um, leave them wanting yeah, more. Yeah, exactly. If I, I had I, left an hour and a half earlier, I think I would have left them wanting more. <laughs> I think they had more than enough of me. Yeah, they were like, thank fucking God. Yeah, um, yeah maybe I'll get hit by a car. <laughs> then this unpaid, unpaid internship will last forever i, I was big on irish goodbyeing in in college though because it, not just at parties but also at the bars because there was jumbo slice right next to it so i would just irish goodbye go get pizza and eat it in my apartment and it was great i there is something about leaving a bar that i think is different than leaving a party where i think an irish goodbye is a little bit more acceptable and i don't really know right. why i believe that but that's just how i feel about it here's the thing people do end up wanting more I mean, it's just last year when of you? the interns at the club came, like I went out with them the first night and we went to a club and I was like, why am I here? I was there for less than 15 minutes. I left. And the next day they're like, where'd you go? And I was like, I left. And they're like, oh my God, we need to hang out with you more. 
Like it, I don't think that's it. how that story played out at all. It wasn't those words, but it was that that feeling. I don't even think it was that yeah. sentiment. You made that. No, up it, I mean, I mean, no, we hung out at least once more that summer. You went. You probably went to an event with those people, and then like, you know, they did yeah, work for I mean, you. They they needed a ride. <laughs> You're, you're you're a good well, I mean, I get well, that. I get that better than most. Yeah. All right. Number two for my list is uh, throwing a theme. This is when you're the host of a party. Throwing a themed yeah. party, um, like a like a a good themed party. Um, so I I was famous for my George Washington party back in the day. Famous for, famous for my, for my one themed stretch. party that I threw. Um, yeah, it, it's just got to be a uh, a theme that you can have fun with like we, we always talked about having uh raft, raft night raft night and you know and and doing the whole lifeguard vibe and and inflatables and rafts and everything it's stuff like that i also like the idea of doing uh rhyming themes like speedos and burritos you know things like that uh that's always so clever that was a lot more fun at 20 than it would be at 30 yeah yeah because yeah, now it's, it's, now burritos. it's just kind of sad well, it's very that sad. that particular uh, one and if you did I like mean, tuxedos I, you know, and burritos, I'm in. Yeah. Colonial hats off to your George Washington theme party. It was phenomenal. I kind of thought you were just going to say have a George Washington theme party. Uh, no, I, I agree. Through theme parties can be great, um, but it does have to be the right theme because like you don't want to put too much pressure on your guests to like have to do something extravagant. And like you can't expect everyone to do something. It's more fun when everyone does. But like your George Washington theme party was like, hey, I'm dressing up like George Washington. I have shit all over my house. Do what you're gonna do. Yeah, exactly. It's like it, it's it gotta be fun. It's gotta be funny. It's gotta be funny yeah. and and not yeah. like and not. Uh, it can't be taken too seriously. Yeah, it can't be gimmicky to the point that it's like taking over. Like, just you know, if, if someone wants to play a a, a a normal drinking game, you shouldn't be cutting in. And be like, no, we got to play this George Washington theme game. Like, it can't yes. be like that level of you know strict rules about it it's just got to be like a fun vibe God, sure. what's our next theme party didn't when we were having shindigs a couple of them were themed weren't they um, andrew would I, know this better than me i think I, there were i mean we always talked about raft night but i think we did a couple different th- theme nights i think so i mean i think we had kind of just like normal holiday themed ones yeah um yeah, I don't know. We, we we talked a bigger game than we actually did when it came to themes. Always do. Story of, always do. Story of our always lives. Do. Story of our lives. Yeah. That's what we do best. All right. This episode is is going on long enough. So let me uh let me jump into my number one here. And I think you guys are gonna like this one. I've actually stolen this one from one of Louis CK's uh, comedy bits. Um and hopefully it's not like masturbate in front of your guests. <laughs> right, you would think, but no, it's uh it, it's it has to do with food and it's uh doing that thing where you have to pretend to rediscover the food or the snacks every time you like pass by it so people don't think that you're just consuming like constantly like you know like you walk by the chips and you just go like hey hey some chips nice and then you walk away come back do it again around other people and you know you do that with everything you do that with every dessert every snack (laughs) i didn't know they had chips here yeah yeah in his comedy bit, he, he's like he's like you do this this means like you know i could totally not eat it but like they're here so but really I, you I, are going to eat it i imagine this was griffin in his kitchen where he's like oh chips oh <laughs> chips guys when i tell you that i was just silently standing there eating just heavily breathing and staring off into space that's what was happening uh yeah, yeah I, I, I this I, uh, this feel- this relates to consume. I, I I I mean I've done this. I've definitely done this without thinking about it. Well, I'm just like, oh, I didn't I didn't already have three of these, hot, you know, pigs in a blanket. I just found these for the first time, you know. Yeah, I get it. Okay, I like food. Here's why I don't love this, and I I, I get what you're going for. Is it the Louis C.K. part? No, it's not. I got, I got no okay. beef with the guy. Let him, let him I, I just tried to. I just tried to cite my sources. It wasn't sure, because sure. it was a, from his comedy bit. It's I, something I genuinely do. Yeah, I got to get a bibliography going. Uh, my issue with <laughs> this is that, bless you, <laughs> bless you a second time. Good, cool. My issue with this, largely, is that it seems to imply a certain shame in in the consuming. <laughs> And I have no shame when it comes to my consumption. 
beer, liquor, food, particularly food, I'm going to house whatever's available and I'm not going to feel bad about it at all. And if I go home and I don't like the way I look in the mirror, that's for me to deal with. That's not, that's not for everyone else. I get um, what you're going for. And I, I like the idea behind it probably for some people, but it's not for me. It's not for me. I, I almost, I almost said that, like, as I said, this pick is that you two are probably not the audience for it. Um, as Griffin, you laid out perfectly just there. And as Thomas's number one pick showed, you two have no shame. Um, you never will once. be, you will be gluttonous at a party. Like gluttonous, so slothful, prideful, <laughs> filled with wrath. Well, he, 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 greedy. Was... I mean, like if there is a sin, I will probably exhibit all of them at a party. I, I just, I do agree. Like no shame in my game. There doesn't exist. Um, but for me, it'd, it'd be less about shame and more about like, I don't want to be known as a guy who like ate that entire plate. Not because I'm shameful, but because no one else got some. Right. So That's I'm like, kind of, Oh, so, yeah. somebody already ate, ate half of these. It wasn't me. Let me get some before they get them, you know? Eat quicker. Exa exactly. Exactly. It's more about not, not being rude if there was an endless yes. supply of food and drink then yeah consume as fast as possible <laughs> everyone at the party should just be consuming as fast as if possible. there is an endless supply of food and drink make sure it's at this party and not like helping the needy exactly yeah. but yeah but, you know that's my thought too. Kirby. but scarcity is a thing so it's like especially if it's like you know a small plate of cookies or something there's only you know there's yeah. only a couple it's not like it's but not like if, if everyone provided value and showed up with pigs in a blanket everyone would be happy every single year at my grandmother's christmas party somebody maybe her maybe one of my cousins brings one of those shrimp cocktail dishes and my sister and my cousin and my and i get there usually earlier than most people very few other people at the family christmas party get to have any of the shrimp cocktail most because we eliminate that. that stuff before anyone else gets there. i was about to say most of the people probably aren't even aware that there ever was a shrimp they, cocktail i don't think the they, they, just, they just see cocktail sauce They're like why is that out yeah the jew shows up and he's like oh this isn't kosher let me eat it yeah that's how we do it at my christmas Fair because enough. consuming is important it, it is important Actually, but it's, it's important to uh to show some semblance of uh restraint just so that you can just so that you get continued so that you continue to be invited to the parties that's that's the okay. only reason i will i will give you that part that is the only yeah, part of fair. that that's fair. Yes. i will agree with yes all right i'll give my recap uh number five is power hour number four is ask like a nerdy question as a conversation starter um or <laughs> conversation <laughs> mover uh, number three is irish goodbye uh, number two is to throw a fun themed party and number one is uh, to pretend to rediscover the food or snacks multiple times throughout the night as you walk by them i feel like on the list that we post on instagram we need to include like a gif of you doing this <laughs> just put out like a <laughs> table of food and have like a time lapse <laughs> of you walking past being like oh hmm, didn't see that there we'll just have to yeah. include that yeah i'll work on i, I think we can make that happen I'm sure we can make that happen. It's not that difficult. We do live we in won't. the future. Um, okay, yeah. You know, Andrew. I'm going to say Andrew's going to win this one. I strongly I like you disagree. Guys, I feel like you say that almost every time. And yeah, I, mean, no, I win I'm, almost I'm, all the time. Yeah. I'll be completely honest with you guys. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm confident. I'm shooting I for last. That I am shooting for I last on this often. one. I think I was away too long. Um, we were all I think I need a little bit more out. to get going than you guys. I was going to say, I'm I, glad feel like, we're back. I feel like we're going to tie because no one's going to vote because the YouTube algorithm is going to hate us for not posting in three months and uh, no one will see it. But, uh, you Let's know, just make a new channel. Tell your friends. Yeah. Tell your friends to subscribe to us. Tell your friends to check out our previous episodes. Tell your friends to listen to or watch this one. It's good background noise. You know, sometimes we get heated about stuff. Sometimes there's a lot of bullying. Sometimes it's just us talking to hear our own voices. Um, but if you are listening and you are a fan and you are enjoying this or any other episodes, like I said at the top of the show, make sure you click the follow button on whatever platform you're on. Or if you're watching on YouTube, click the subscribe button. Throw your own list down below if you're watching on, on YouTube. Comment it below. We'd love to see what else you know is out there as a potential party move. Um, and make sure you click the like button as well. Sorry we were gone so long uh you know we've been working we've been traveling we've been doing stuff 
it happens. We probably won't do it again because nobody invites us yeah. anywhere. You know what? It's 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 not a, it's none of their business what we've been doing. Yeah, none no, of your no, goddamn business what we've been business. doing. Fuck off. Also, you don't I, you don't you don't own us. Thomas <laughs> couldn't even make it to the end of the episode without sitting down. I you know what? I I stopped caring. Uh, no shame <laughs> in this game. This looks very weird now. So I'm going <laughs> to sign us off and uh, we hope you'll stick around for the next episode. It's not going to be 2 months before the next one. As always, thanks for tuning in.